Low on the water. By the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who are here cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Congregation may be seated. And um, Sierra's family, over here, parents and godparents. And stand right here. Okay. Bree, can you just scoot right here? Okay. Okay. Sweetie. It gets better, I promise. Oh. Name this child. Sierra, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my goodness, did I ever get you wet? Sierra, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit and, whoops, come back. Sealed by the Holy Spirit and baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Oh, now this, see, this is better. <laughs> Receive the light of Christ. May the remainder of your life be lived in accordance with this beginning. Yeah, good. Okay, if you'll just stay over there. Thank you. Okay. Jazara? No, just stay right, right there. Just stay right there. Okay. Name this child. Jazara, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jazar, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Jazara, re oh, receive the light of Christ. May the remainder of your life be lived in accordance with this beginning. Pass the candle to her. <laughs> you go. Okay. You'll just step that way. Okay. Promise. Name this child. Thomas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Promise. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh. <laughs> Promise you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism, and marked as Christ's own forever. Promise. Receive the, no. don't receive quite yet. The light, <laughs> receive the light of Christ. May the remainder of your life be lived in accordance with this beginning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon these your servants the forgiveness of sin and raised them to the new life of grace. 
Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, the spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. On the bottom of 308, let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection and share with us in his eternal priesthood. Okay. My brothers and sisters, remember your baptism. Are you ready? <laughs> with you. While the photographs are, f are finishing, I'll, I'll just say that um, I'm, I used to always say no cameras in church. I was a strong believer in no cameras in church. This is what I tell families now. Because your job, you, you sponsors and parents, your job is to help the child remember their baptism. As Martin Luther said, remember your baptism. This is one way they can help them remember their baptism so that part of their job is to tell the story and tell the story, show the pictures, so that the child, even though the child has no actual memory, the child begins to have a memory of the baptism. So I, I, I'll tell them, keep it out of my face. But other than that, um, to take pictures. It's our job to help these people, help these children remember their baptisms. Kind of wet. Welcome. I know we have guests and visitors today, and it's, it's a delight to have you all here on this occasion. There is St. Lawrence Chapel today following this liturgy. Um, and there was something else about St. Lawrence I was, oh, no, not St. Lawrence. Uh, the Social Action Committee will have a meeting Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock, in the library. If you look in your bulletins, you'll see something that looks like a bookmark. And that's to let you know about the upcoming uh, potluck that will be sponsored 
by the Curcio community here. The Curcio community is a, a group of uh, people who are working towards renewing our faith. Um, you don't have to have attended Curcio to come. We'll have some speakers, we'll have opportunity for singing and prayer. If you would like a time, an evening of renewal on a Friday evening, please go ahead and come. You will have, you'll have a good time. You'll have a renewing time. So I wanted to make sure to point that out to you. Um, Father Mark is in Vermont, Dr. Park is in Washington, D.C., and they are very cold. <laughs> um, in your bulletin also are some pink information sheets. They're always asking for our name and address and phone number. Yes, because you move and you don't tell us. So we have recently, the office has recently sent out um, statements and have been trying to contact people for other things as well and have discovered that phone numbers are incorrect or addresses are incorrect. Oh, it's blue? Oh, okay, it's blue. Blue or pink, it's, it's whatever. It asks for your name, okay? So if you would please fill that out and put it in the alms basin, I'd appreciate it. Anything else? That's it. Are there any birthdays, wedding anniversaries, or travelers for blessings? While you're coming up, um, Sonny will tell you about Mardi Gras that's coming up. Is that why you're standing there? Mardi Gras, it's all about love. It's on February 14th on Valentine's Day. They want us to dress up spiffy since we're going to be there with our Valentines. So mark that in your calendar. It'll be a great evening for everyone. Great entertainment and dancing. That's what you were gonna say, right? Sonny, Th that was what you were going, that, that's what you were going to say, Sonny. <laughs> of course you would have, next week. Closet performers. Sea of love. Okay. No, they're saying you need the microphone, but. Just, we're, we're done. Okay? Performers. Okay, tickets next week. Thank you. Okay, birthdays. Traveling. Are, you, but you don't want to have to move, right? right. Okay, I'll, I'll get you. Birthdays, okay? Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on these your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their life through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll do you last. Okay. O God, our heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve those who travel surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them in safety to their journey's end through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Traveling mercies. And how many is this? 19. Okay. <laughs> Hold right hands. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send, therefore, your blessing upon these, your servants, that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other 
in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations. We're very happy today to welcome back at the organ, Tony Errico. It's been several years since we, you've been here. Welcome back. Good to have you here. <laughs> Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. on page 367. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, 
to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. <clears throat> We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken to the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. <clears throat> Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection. We await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where, with John the Baptizer, Mary Magdalene, Mary the Mother of our Lord, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let's pray in thanksgiving for this holy communion. <clears throat> Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us <clears throat> as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God, who sent the Holy Spirit to rest upon the only begotten at his baptism in the Jordan River, pour out that Spirit upon you who have received the waters of new birth. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and always. Amen. Thank you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.